Joe with iTroll, and right now we are in the start screen of hunt mode. I call it the start screen because the word start appears. Now on our earliest iTrolls, there's only one hunt program that is in the iTroll that can be run at any given time. And you can tell that those early units because they lack the letter behind the number here on the bottom line. As you know, iTrolls can do two motors. So what the 1A means, it's motor 1, and A is the first hunt program in memory. Now, multi-memory iTrolls prior to generation 2 units have six hunt programs in memory. Generation 2 iTrolls have eight. So to navigate between all the different hunt programs in memory is very simple. You just press the max button. So there you see 1B, 1C, D, E, F. If this was a six program iTroll, it would go back to A on the next push of the max button. But because this is a generation two, you're gonna go to G and then H and then back to A. So all the max button does is circles, draw your hunt programs in memory in a big circle. If you want to start a given hunt program, you just follow directives on the screen, which is press hunt to start. As you can tell, this hunt program is running because the timer is running, but we'll go into how they actually work later. So again, all I really wanted to do was show you how to navigate the start screen. Oh, by the way, if you're running a hunt program, of any type of any address, it's very simple to get back to the start screen. You simply press the off button once. Just think of turning off this hunt program. If I wanted to run program B, it'd be as simple as one push of the max button and start with the hunt button. Again, to return to the start screen, press the off button once, thinking turning this particular hunt program off and we can simply select another program to run. Well, that's about it with the hunt start screen. It's very simple, and we'll build on this lesson later.